Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new, my name is Minky, this is The Glam Guy. On this channel, I talk about beauty and fashion and luxury and leveling up and overall just being the best possible version of yourself. So if you guys are interested in any of that, then please definitely hit that subscribe button and join the Glammy gang. We would love to have you. And if you are not new, welcome back my gorgeous Glammy. All right, so today we're going to be talking about how you can transform your life. These are some of the things that I have followed in my life and trust me, there are so many more, but these are the ones that have really stood out and these are the ones that I really wanted to discuss, things that I have done that have transformed my life and I promise you if you implement them into your life you will see a massive difference. So without any further ado let's just jump straight into it. The first thing that has transformed my life is truly and actively actively practicing gratitude and this is something that I thought that I did in the past like I thought that I I practiced gratitude not how I do right now. I think that when you practice gratitude and you are grateful for even the smallest things, it really is going to change your entire outlook on life. It is going to really shift your perspective in ways that you did not even know were possible. One of the ways that I've really practiced gratitude is by getting into the habit of saying thank you for the small things. Thank you for the fact that I have a lip gloss that I can put on my face every single day that I love, that makes me feel beautiful. Thank you for the honeybees that make honey, <laughs> that make honey that, that I enjoy in my tea and in my oats every single morning. It sounds ridiculous and there will be other things on this list that sound kind of ridiculous, but it really shifts your perspective because I think that we as people, it's natural, we get into this mindset of just always being so quick to point out what is wrong, always being so quick to point out what is negative in our lives and other people and ourselves. We're so quick to point out all of that, but what happens if we point out all of the things that are good? And I will tell you that when you start to practice gratitude on that level, you will start to see that there are so many things that are good outweigh the bad things that you thought. Like maybe you think that your life sucks and there are all of these horrible things happening all the time. Once you start to practice gratitude really intentionally on that level, you will start to see that there are so many more good things than there are bad. It's about the little things. And I think that as people, we always, we're always so quick to be fixed on the big things, right? Good or bad. But life is truly a combination of all the little things or of all the small, beautiful moments that we have in our lives. And being grateful for that, it opens your heart in a different way that you never knew. And when you open your heart like that, abundance can flow. Abundance can flow in, in whatever form, and abundance will flow out in you, in you loving, in you being, in you just existing as this beautiful, wonderful human that has just got so much love and so much kindness and generosity and light to give. Abundance will flow. It will flow, it will flow, it will flow, I promise you. So actively practicing gratitude, praying, being thankful for the little things that we may think are insignificant. It doesn't mean that life becomes perfect, but I think life becomes a little bit more beautiful right and you realize that life really is worth living and number two i stopped engaging in negative self-talk now this is not to say that negative self-talk doesn't happen but i have gotten into the habit of stopping it immediately immediately i shut it down whenever you engage in negative self-talk you're bringing yourself down in ways that oh my goodness when i have caught myself in moments of negative self-talk i'm like minx you would never let anybody in your life disrespect you like this. You would never, ever, ever in a million years let someone talk to you like this, ever. So how is it okay that you can talk to yourself like that? It's not. Because if anything, you are supposed to be your biggest cheerleader. You are supposed to be your number one fan. How can you expect love and appreciation and all of these wonderful things from other people if you cannot give that to yourself. Stop it. Stop. Negative self-talk will literally break you down, guys. It will do it will do some real damage. Catch yourself when you're about to say something mean about yourself, your appearance, your work ethic, whatever the case may be, and just be like, you know what? 
this is what it is right now that I'm not happy with this so I am going to move to change it rather than just bashing it down talk to yourself as though you're talking to someone that you love something that has helped change my mindset when it comes to this is um, and I'll give you a real life working example of how I use this talk to myself as if I am talking to my seven-year-old self when it comes to anything sometimes i talk to myself and i explain things to myself in a way that i would explain it to seven-year-old banks there was a time when i decided that i wanted to make a significant change when it came to my health and when it came to my weight loss and i think that the running the running script in everyone's head when you have gained some weight or when you're not happy with the way you look is oh my gosh you're you're so fat like these jeans don't even fit you anymore what have you done you ate too much nyah, nyah, nyah. like you have like that is the running dialogue right for most of us i have gotten to a point where it's almost like i sit seven year old minky down in my head and i'm just like and this is literally what i did i was just like minx you've gained some weight and I know that you're not happy with it. I know you're uncomfortable in your body. So we're going to fix it. But it's not going to be pleasant all the time. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. But we're doing this for us. We're doing this for us to become better, for us to become healthier, for us to become happier. Okay? We're doing this for us. That is how I speak to myself. It sounds ridiculous. I know. <laughs> it sounds silly. I feel like I am someone who is so much kinder to myself guys i'm so much kinder to myself and when i'm kinder to myself i want to do more i want to be better it's the same concept as like if for example you have this horrible boss at work that's always telling you how you never meet deadlines on time and this that that and the third eventually you get to a point where you're like you know i don't even want to do this anymore and you literally just do the bare minimum you don't care eventually you are going to down yourself so much that you're just going to be like you know what, what is even the point what is even the point and you never want to get to that you never want to get to that so stop engaging in negative self-talk start speaking to yourself as though you are speaking to seven year old you because a lot of us have inner child wounds from how we grew up from how we were raised from traumas and stuff that we have been through so I think that a lot of the time when we indulge that negative self-talk, it's it's almost comfortable because for many of us that is what we were used to as a child but the beautiful thing about becoming an adult is actually having autonomy and understanding these things and being able to go back and reparent ourselves in a way that we wished we could have been parented so try that for yourself and see and you guys will let me know third thing that will improve your life in many different ways and i actually saw this on tiktok and i had been practicing this in a certain way um but i think that when i actually saw that video it made it come full circle because it actually made me really understand what it was i was doing and it really like helped me to to get into that practice more and coming off the second point is being friends with all versions of yourself okay be friends with past you being friends with present you and being friends with future you. Being friends with past you is forgiving yourself. If I can find the TikTok, I'll link it. Being friends with past you is forgiving yourself. You know, you look back at yourself and you're just like, whoo, who is that? I don't, I don't know that girl. I don't identify with her. But this is the thing, right? Like present you is one day going to become past you and future you is one day going to become present you and and past you does that make sense so like all of the versions of ourselves are intertwined but what do you have in common with present you and past you is the fact that as you sit here right now you are doing the best that you can in the situation that you are in it is the same with past you you may have made some mistakes but she was also just trying to do best that she could with what she had at that moment in time and and if she made some mistakes she made those mistakes but 
she deserves grace she deserves forgiveness because she was just trying to do the best that she could the present you is dealing with the negative self-talk putting yourself down constantly just not being kind to yourself be friends with present you speak to her nicely tell her how great she's doing tell her how she's winning tell her how beautiful she looks you're doing great you're doing amazing being friends with future you is doing things in the present that is going to help future you because all of us have been in this thing of your i will deal with it tomorrow that is tomorrow's problem those are tomorrow's issues i don't think that we realize how much we sabotage future selves <laughs> so the smallest thing where you like you know okay you know that there's load shedding at 6 a.m tomorrow morning why are you not putting your phone on the charger tonight so that it can charge so that by the time it's going you have to go to work or you have to drop the kids off or whatever you're not sitting on seven percent why why do we do that to ourselves so be friends with future you all right like do things that's gonna make that girl's life a little easier eat healthy today so that tomorrow she can be a little bit more snatched Charge your phone tonight so that you're not struggling tomorrow. If you know you've got a meeting tomorrow, stop drinking those cocktails. Stop it. Stop drinking that wine. You're going to be hungover tomorrow and then tomorrow she's going to be miserable. And then you're going to be blaming past you. You're going to be like, girl, like you did it again. Like you keep on trying to sabotage what I'm trying to do. Be friends with all versions of yourself. Are you friends with future you? Because if you're not friends with future you, you are literally ruining your own life. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. There are three versions of you, past you, present you, future you, and you need to become best friends with all of them, okay? You need to become best friends with past you because you need to cut that girl some flack, okay? Because I think it's really easy to look back at old you and be like, oh, like, who is that girl? I don't know her. Or like, oh my God, she made mistakes. That's you. That is you. And whatever she went through, she went through it and became you. So you need to hug her like mentally. I know that sounds very woo woo, but I don't care. I'm a bit woo woo, okay? You need to be constantly cutting past you slack because if you're always like feeling like animosity towards things that past you did or mistakes that past you did, that animosity lives inside of you because guess what? You is you. I don't think that's hard to, hard to comprehend, right? There are three versions of you inside of you. So if you're walking around feeling resentment towards old you, that resentment is inside of the present you because she's in there and you're gonna be a bitter, unhappy person. So step one is cut that some slack, okay? She did her best. Now, secondly, future you. I used to be the type of person to say, yeah, I have to wake up early tomorrow. I'm gonna stay out though because I don't know her. Whoops, like tomorrow Amanda has to wake up, but right now Amanda doesn't have to wake up. So good luck, sis. Like, woo, I was up that girl's life left and right. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. That's a phrase I used to say because I thought it was funny. I'd be like, that's a problem for tomorrow, Amanda. That's a problem for Monday, Amanda. That's a problem for next week, Amanda. F that girl. Like that, I swear to God, that's how I used to talk and laugh and like treat future me. You can imagine how that worked out when future me became present me and I then I was fighting with past me and I was like, what am I doing? Why can't I take care of myself? My whole life is a mess. I'm not in alignment with my goddamn self, okay? Because what I'm talking about is getting in alignment with yourself. I had to decide to become friends with future me and by that I mean I had to literally say it, write it down, start changing my words. Words are very powerful, I think you know this. Things that you say become reality because your subconscious brain starts believing it. Because your brain, which is also part of you, believes any words that come out of your damn mouth. Which is why if you say I'm the best in the world, your brain is going to be like, well, okay, we're the best in the world. What else? You know? And if you're like, I'm a piece of shit, your brain is like, okay, we're a piece of do you know what I mean? So I started changing my words. And now I say to people, got to look out for future Amanda. Amanda, do you want to come out tonight? Hey, I would love to, but um, future Amanda got to get up early tomorrow. And I love her. I literally say that. I don't care if it sounds silly. I say that all the time. I'm like, no, got to look out for future me because she's me. <laughs> but now I make decisions for future me. And oh my God, when future me becomes present me, we're so happy. We're all in alignment. We're all hugging each other. We're like, yes, we did it. And go team go. Like, look at us. We're, we're a real, we're a real team over here. Okay. I'm not just talking about like going to sleep early because you don't want tomorrow you to be tired, which is a real thing. I'm also thinking about like, Hey, Amanda, it's November. You have goals that you want to achieve by the end of the year. How do you want that version of Amanda to feel on, on New Year's Eve? Because, you know, everyone's going to do their little recap of the year. The Instagram posts are going to start. This is what I did this year. And me, I have an Excel sheet with all my goals that I look at. I update it every single year. I love it, actually, because it's my favorite thing to look back at previous years and see what my goals were because it's so cute because I've achieved all of them. One of my goals was like, 
pay off my credit card debt. I did that. It's gone. I don't have any debt. One of them was visit Paris. LOL. That was my 2015 one. Cause I have, I, I, it's an Excel sheet with a different tab for every year. That one makes me really happy. Cause I'm like, Oh, look at you. Look at you, you little baby. You wanted to visit Paris. Yeah. Guess what? We live here. Do you know what I mean? So right now it's Sunday and I'm like, Oh, we could watch something on Netflix. But do you know what occurred to me? I was like, yeah, but Amanda, think about future you. How do you want New Year's Eve you to feel? Do you want her to be proud? because watching another show on Netflix is not gonna make her proud, right? And I was like, oh my God, that's so true, Amanda. Let's get, let's get working. And then I, instead of working, I stopped to make a TikTok about it. But I think it's worth it. All I'm saying is decide to be friends with future you and past you and your life will literally change. And before you make a decision, you know those bracelets that were like, what would Jesus do? Honestly, I, this I'm not a religious person, but I have a lot of respect for people who have faith because for me, it's the same thing. Whether your faith is in yourself or in the universe or in some deity, it doesn't matter. You're you're putting faith in something and it's a form of like self-awareness in a sense. So instead of asking yourself, what would Jesus do? Unless you wanna ask that, I don't care. I ask myself, how would, how would future Amanda feel about this? Or is this gonna benefit future Amanda? Because she's not some stranger that I don't know. She's literally me and you're gonna be here soon, right? Change that mindset and watch how things start working out for you, I promise. The next thing that has changed my life for the better is actively making time for me. I've always been someone who is genuinely just a giver. I love to give a lot of myself. I like to give a lot of my time. I like to give a lot of my resources, whatever they may be. And sometimes I feel very depleted. When you make time for yourself, you are doing the things that are going to replenish you in whatever way, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, whatever. You do things that are able to replenish you. You cannot pour from an empty well. Because when you are trying to pour from an empty well to your friends, your family, your husband, kids, whatever, it is going to start to build resentment. You are going to hate life. You're going to hate them. You are going to be resentful. You're going to be mean. You're going to be bitter. You're going to, you're going to be nasty because you have not taken the time to replenish and put into you. Whether you've got kids or you don't, whether you've got a husband or you don't, it, that is irrelevant, okay? All of us are givers. We should be givers, okay? Take a give and take it has to be a flow in our lives. But you cannot give from an emptiness. You cannot give when you yourself are depleted. So actively make time for you. Set a boundary. My boundary is don't contact me before 10 a.m. I prioritize having my time for myself. So for me, that looks like waking up. And when I wake up, I need time to defrost. Once I've gone to the gym, I feel a hundred times better then I can engage, okay? I'm not answering emails at 7 a.m. I'm not, I have set boundaries so that every single morning I can have a little bit of time to pour into me because I know that I have a day filled with pouring into others, pouring into my business, pouring into this channel. And I cannot do that if I myself have nothing to, to take from. You understand what I'm saying? So even if it is in the smallest way, even if it is waking up 30 minutes early to do your hair, to do your makeup, or to meditate, or to pray, or to go for a run, or to do whatever it is that you love, or even if it's just to sit quietly with a cup of coffee while reading your Bible, or reading a book, or whatever, whatever it is that is going to help you pour into yourself for that day, do that thing. Okay, do that thing and I promise you it will make a world of difference. You will be coming from a place of even overflow and abundance because you're happy, you're content, you've done things that have fulfilled you for that day, no matter how small they are, but you have done things that are going to pour into you that have fulfilled you in a certain way. Because of that, you're able to flow and overflow and pour into others. So the last thing that I have done that has really transformed my life is genuinely, and I've done this before because you guys know, okay, I'm a glam girl. And if you're on this channel, you're probably a glammy too, okay? We're glam girls, but I think that I got to a point, especially once I started to approach 30, where I intentionally nurturing and caring for my natural beauty. Okay, because there's just something beautiful about aging. It is a privilege to age, guys. It is a privilege. But in that aging process, I always want to just look my best naturally at whatever age I am at. Okay, so I really started to, to nurture my natural beauty. And simple things like making sure that I get more sleep, 
eating a little bit healthier, drinking more green tea, do, like putting oils in my hair that help my scalp and help my hair to grow and retain length and all of that, like really nurturing my natural beauty because there's something about it that when all of this is gone, like when I've taken off my makeup and I've taken off the extensions and I have no nails and all of that, I'm happy with myself in my most natural state, right? And I don't know, that's all I have to say on that. That it's it's amazing. It's amazing. So really try to be more intentional. Like we have all of these additives that we do, as I said, and I, I love them. Got my nails, got my hair, lashes, all of that. But there's just something truly beautiful about nurturing your natural beauty and loving how you are in your purest natural state. So my camera battery decided to die. So I'm doing my outro. Um, on my phone. I really hope that um, everything that I've spoken to you guys about today really resonates um, and these things have truly transformed my life guys like they may be small and they may seem somewhat insignificant but it is the small things that you practice day in and day out and it is the small things that you're grateful for and the small things that like just the small things that you experience that make this life so amazing and that make this life something beautiful and something worth living and i really hope that you'll be able to see through that if you guys have any sort of like um tips and tricks and things that have transformed your life please leave them in the comments down below because i really want us to share in this community and I really want this community to be a place where we can go for inspiration and we can go for motivation and we can go to just gain a different perspective um, because we're all just trying to figure this thing out together. So if you do, please leave them down in the comments. I would love to see them and read them. And I'm sure your fellow Glammies would too. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Glammy gang. Please like this video. Comment one thing that has changed your life for the better. Does not matter how big, does not matter how small. And we can all share in just all of this beauty. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.